Greetings, and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I looked up the numbers for uh, the number of miners we're going to need to make sure that we have a full belt of iron going out. And I would like to show you that right now. Here is a nice, nice reference for us. This is factoriocheatsheet.com, and it's basically uh, tells you all kinds of ratios for different things that you need, i.e. like uh, the uh, stone furnaces input of these and how many uh, you need per belt. So with a yellow belt, if you're making iron ore um, or uh, copper, you're going to need 48 if you use stone furnaces. So this is a very, very helpful thing, Imajingi, and I was looking at the number of miners. So for a yellow belt, we're going to need 30 miners. Uh, mining stuff for us. So let's go ahead and add that to our game. And um, so then we'll get a full amount of stuff here. Now the coal is slightly different. I didn't look that up, but it's, we don't need that much um, per belt because coal goes a very, very long way. But we are going to need a fair amount of, um, of miners here. So let's just make many. There we go. Let, let's see if we have any of the other stuff available. Oh, yes. By the way, I did update nanobots and they do work now. So this is great. All I had to do was make sure I had the latest version, which I didn't. Um, and I always forget to update my bonds, but it is a good thing to do so. All right. Let's keep making bullets. Yay. I like bullets. All uh, right. So is this all good? Happy days are here again. This is still making... Yes, very nice. Um, all right, and this guy needs copper. And then let's grab the circuits. Wow, 200 circuits. That's great. Let's go ahead and cancel some of these and use those circuits on the miners that we're going to need. So let's see, make sure I'm getting enough. 30 is the number that we need. So I don't know how many we have in the queue. Okay, so we've got 8, 9, 10... So we're making 20. Um, let's make more. <laughs> I don't know how many are placed. I don't know how many we're going to need for coal. And we're also going to need some for copper. So yes, many. That is the answer to that question. All right, let's keep on placing them down here as long as we have uh, parts of the patch to draw on. Yay. Oh my God. I couldn't have done that better if I planned it. Okay. Uh, and we'll add our power poles, of course. Make sure these miners get the electricity they need to function. It's good stuff. Let's go ahead and go here and get those lined up. All right. Now we may have an issue of coverage, so we need to adjust adjust to this. Do I not have any? Oh, I don't have any. Oh dear. We need to make some more gun turrets. Looks like it. Uh, gears and plates. Apparently we're short on those, so let's. Uh, reap the benefits of our still existing mining situations there uh, la 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 there we go <laughs> now i'm singing hello it is fine there we go 94 gears i'm going to put some of this back into here so we can keep on producing stuff ah and science has completely stopped all right let's check the ratio for this again i always forget forgive me two iron to one copper so there we go and i'll go get some more Instead of splitting the whole thing in half, I'll just say, yeah, it's fine. It'll be good. Oh, see already the belt is more full of product and that's going to be even better for that array. So we can probably get rid of the burners very shortly, actually, and go straight to the electric mining and the smelting columns. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put in the, um, yeah, there we go. Nice. So you know, the fun thing to do is you go down this thing and just collect all of the iron. But the, the smart way to do it is actually just collect it from the uh, <laughs> the actual machines because they're going to have more of it in. Uh, there we go. Let's go grab this. Looks like we do need some more. No, we need more iron. Actually, the coal is filling up, as you saw, all the way down to the end. But um, yeah, we still are going to need more iron. But I do want to fill up those science things as soon as possible. Ah, yeah, we got our more smelters. Good, good, good. And we can also start making some gun turrets. I wonder if I should automate these or not. That might be... 
a decent idea if we get the oh we can actually have this this thingy feeding into gun turrets or should yeah i'm like eh, should we wait or shouldn't we wait i don't know maybe um oh we've run out oh dear Let's make some more assembling machines. All right, we're going to have to start building a little bit of a bus and a mall. Okay, this and those two. Boom. That's great. Because these are extremely slow to make. Let's go ahead and take this this way and then grab a couple of boxes. No. One here and there. Good. That's what we want. Okay, I need I need an assembly machine. Oh, we have one. Good, good. Take this and start making our turrets in here. Because they do take ages to make. Here, take that. Is that how, how many do we need? 10 and 40? Whoa. Wow. That is a huge amount of materials needed. I never expected that to be quite so many i i guess i different didn't really realize it but yeah all of these things are gonna have to go in there i think we definitely need also fast inserters because this poor inserter is not gonna not gonna hang around long. no i'm overworked so it's gonna complain bitterly i'm sure all right let's check our coverage on pollution uh we also don't have any protection down here with our turrets there are the turret locations. And as you see, we are not protecting any of this either. So that's not ideal. So it's something that we're going to have to work on very shortly. Let's go ahead and grab... Oh, wait, I have no iron. Let's grab some iron. The belt looks pretty darn good over here. Uh, I think I'm going to just delete this. Nanobots, please. Do the honors. There you go. Excellent. Now at the moment, nanobots do not have a very long range. But we will get that sorted soon with research. Okay, we need to get these aligned. Uh, right, that seems fine. Okay. And normally one would leave a gap, but I sort of forgot to do so. So we're not going to have a gap like between these two for power poles, but it doesn't actually matter as long as you get the power poles in between. There we go. Let's put our splitter there and in here. Now we do have a little bit of misbalance because of fewer miners on this side than that side, but I don't think it's going to be a big enough uh, thing to worry about. What do we have here? We have 35. Yeah, so it's already overkilling this section here. We have, and we're going to have at least uh, one full area. Now these miners, especially on the end, look at this, only has 785 iron to it so they're gonna die off so it's okay to overkill it a little bit we, we actually kind of need the extras to prevent ourselves from getting totally um yeah totally overwhelmed and stuff okay so let's pick up oh why am i doing this hello nanobots come to me yes there we go and we're going to just make more coal miners there we go Take that power pull that way. I think this should be enough. It, it, it really doesn't matter that they're all on one side. That's not really relevant. Now then, we're going to do some magic here. Uh, we're going to get our nanobots working for us and copy this entire thing. And let's just do that here. Okay, great. And boom. Let's start kind of at the top. They're just going to keep on going as per their instruction manual. But they'll get here eventually. Yay. And then we don't have to place it down ourselves. This is great. Yay. Now, are we missing stuff? Now, that's the question. Because sometimes the ghosts, especially the ones for inserters, they tend to be indistinguishable from real products. So these are real and these are ghosts. So we need to get more inserters, obviously, made. 
Let's just do that. I think we can just fill these guys with coal as well. So get it out of our inventory because we do not need it. Okay. Boom. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that was funny. As we were making the inserters, each one would be like, to do, to do, to do. Yeah. Good, good. All right. Let's go ahead and fill these with ore. Boom. And grab, grab the ore. Grab the uh, plates, I should say. So we can keep the various systems flowing. Let's make sure that we have our inserters. There we go. Oh, that's another way to tell as well. See these, they're, they're slightly um, unextended. They're sort of half folded when they're, when they're asleep in ghost form. Okay, keep on going. Let's go. Oh wait, is there, is there still more? There we go. There's one left, I think. We just have to wait for that to be handcrafted. All right, steel axe is finished. What did we want next? Um, <laughs> green science is great. Uh, we could get armor. That could be slightly useful to us. So let's get that, I think. Come on. There we go. I think we're good. We're good on inserters now. And the coal is traveling down, which is very, very nice. Okay, and things are, are traveling. Good. All right. Let's just put a couple of lights in here, make it easier to see. We're going to take this. Huh, yes, this line actually goes from this side. I'm going to take this where we have some copper. And we will just um, remove these guys here and get ourselves some miners placed down. We have 16 only. I think it might be better if we just made as many as we need. So 5, 10, 15. So that's going to be 30. And we'll do another 5 just for um, overkill. Some slight overkill. And all right. Take the coal as well. Nice. Okay. That way we can keep our inventory fairly free of clutter. Let's just also make some more power poles and get rid of the wood. Oh, I should have made a, a thing for this. I didn't even think about it. Silly me. All right, here are the miners. So I think maybe going to the left, possibly. The cliffs are a bit funny to work around, but I think we'll be fine. Okay, there we are. Oops, that one actually will go there. Grass is covering quite a lot of the uh, mining spots here. All right, there we go. We'll place down the power poles while it's still thinking about uh, crafting here. That's one of the things I should have set up crafting for is miners. So I think that's kind of an important thing. See, there we go. No, run out again. Okay. We'll just take these power poles to the left here. There we are. Looking very good. Okay, it looks like we don't have any at the moment. So let's just take this belt and connect it so that it can start making product for us. And we can also start the interesting business of defending the territory since we have a couple of, um, of turrets with us. Okay, there we go. Do we have more? I guess we could. Okay, this is just way too much stuff. One, two, okay. Very good. Uh, those cover like this. I probably would like one here. I'm wondering, yeah, we probably would need to build a wall 
around this area for best coverage, I think. Maybe that's the answer. Maybe we should just start making some stone walls because I think we did we did get the tech. So we have the tech for it. So we should probably start making some stone walls so that we don't have to defend everything with little tiny turrets here and there. We can actually do major uh, wall things instead. Okay, so let's get electronics. That will allow us to get some better technology here. Uh, do we have fast inserters yet? There they are. Okay, they're they're a red technology. Yep, almost there. Almost there, fast inserters. We missed you. Oh yes. We definitely missed you. Okay. I think that's good enough for now. I'm not gonna worry about the south part of this at the moment. Uh, I don't feel like we need to worry about it too much. I'm gonna do something. Let's see. How do we wanna start this bus? I would really like to get rid of these trees. So let's get nanobots to take care of that. And they're going to give us the wood for it. Thank you very much. Later we can get termite bots if we want to skip the wood. But let's see. We can also hunt fish this way too, I believe. There we go. Got a fish. Fish are important. Fish prevent us from completely dying. Oops. Okay. That's fine. I don't have to have that one. We have 33 fish. I think that's enough for another foray into the unknown. There we go. And I think we can just start here with a mini bus. Um, I don't know how, how much we want to plan for the mini bus. Maybe two lines of iron? I don't know. It's very hard for me to think about this. Like, I'm, I'm kind of like starting from, from scratch, from new. All right. What do we got up here? We have our, let's turn off the cannon range thingies and start to kind of look at what we need. We do need a belt array. So that's going to be one of the first things that we build. I think we should lay that out first and then we can, well, actually before the belt array, we usually have an array for uh, green circuits. So maybe that's the thing I should build first. We're going to need more assembly machines. So I think what we'll do in order is we're going to build, let's see, first intermediate product, which is going to be the, um, yeah, the green circuits. Okay. And we'll build kind of a, let's see, how do we want to do this? Actually have a copper coming in here and then we need copper or Actually, we need iron in and circuits out. So is it one iron per circuit? Yes. Okay. So that will work very nicely. We'll just keep on making this, but we are going, oh my goodness, I'm pressing all the wrong keys today, unfortunately, but that's okay. We will get it sorted very shortly. All uh, right. Get that one there. Connect, connect. Yay, now we can see what we're doing. So the ratio for these guys is um, they make two copper cable uh, every half a second. And these guys need uh, three copper cable every half a second. So the ratio here is three machines to two. And an easy way to copy these things is you can shift right click to copy and left click to paste. So we can do the, the same way with this one. Choose the recipe, shift right click, shift left click uh, to make that happen. That is a bad place for a lamp. Doesn't work there. Uh, as we see, we're going to get some inserters going on, but these are all going to be upgraded to fast ones very shortly. Actually, we don't need that. So um, we need the ends here and then we need a few more of these actually. I need to grab more green circuits because this is just taking a lot longer than I want it to. Let's grab the inserters next because we need fast inserters. Fast, fast, fast. Go, go, go. It's good stuff. There we go. Nice. Just take some of that. Ah, and we also need to build. You know what? We need to look at our quest log. We need to do a new quest to make walls. Okay. We're going to add this to the top. Uh, keep, I guess. Sure. Uh, new quest. We need to make um, belt array. 
I just want to add everything that we need to do. Quest name. Um, let's see. Make boutiques. So I'm not. I, I kind of want to do boutiques first instead of a mall. Ti boutiques. Yay. Even though I'm very famous for the mall and I love to go shopping. But yeah, it's a thing. So what we're going to do is make green circuits first. So new quest. Make green circuits. So we're going to have a little bit of a... We're gonna, uh, yeah, I'm the adventurer. Add to top. Keep. All right. There we have our new quest at the top to make green circuits. That is... That's what we're going to do. Wow. We, we have plans now. Oh, yes. Okay, looks like we've run out of quite a lot of stuff. Ooh, we need to make ammo. That's a very good idea. New quest, make ammo. Yay, keep. All right, so we have all that done. We have nanobots, yay, I'll take those, thank you. Wow, we need lots and lots of stuff. We need to have all this automated. Because right now, that's where we're really struggling, I think, is the automation of everything. And it's not automated. So yeah, sadness. Sad times. But we'll fix it. It will get very good very soon. I'm wondering if I should put in some turrets here. Let's go grab those turrets from the box up there. I'm like walking by it. I was like, hmm, that isn't quite protected. This also isn't quite protected, is it? Okay, let's take these. There's five gun turrets in there, which is more than zero. It's okay. Okay, so let's just put in a couple of gun turrets here. And put in ammo. We'll adjust the amounts in a second. Sure. Actually... Oh, well, okay. Wasn't quite what I wanted. Let's see. Uh, fast inserters are finished. Okay, we can get nanobot range and speed. So let's just do that. Let's get range first. I like nanobots as a mod because the bots aren't free. You have to pay for capsules every time you use them. So they are, they do have a, an, a cost to them. So that's something that's kind of a nice... Uh, trade-off thing that you have to think about when you're doing nanobots because they do require some amount of materials quite a lot actually okay there we go now then uh we need to split off here from the copper get these going hooray and we need these to feed back onto here. And then we can also start collecting some of this stuff in a box, I think. Very nice. Okay. okay, and we definitely need power poles. There we are. Okay, our first green circuit's on the line. Yay. Uh, I think we're going to just do a very small green circuit array. This is how I used to do it in the old days. Mm. It's been a while since I did it like this. Copy and paste. Boom. Actually, I don't even need to do this. I could have just copied in a different way. I could have copied this part. So we don't have to worry about the inserters. And just change them where we need changes. Whoopsies. Okay, uh, now then, this is going to be the tricky part because we need to insert these that way and then output these that way. Notice that an inserter always puts on the far side of the belt uh, in relation to itself. So just keep that in mind when you're designing these kinds of uh, things. Okay, there we go. Another thingy. And we need to take these belts down. There we go. And grab that one. Okay. And splitters. Aha. Yeah, we need more splitters. We need more... All the things. We need all the things. That's okay, because we're at the beginning of the factory, and you're supposed to need all the things. Because that's how Factorio works. 
All right, I'm going to try. Ugh, this is going to be hard. Try to put the um, turrets where I don't have to move them. That's a difficult thing, I think, slightly. Okay. So, it, so when I want to expand this thing, I won't have to move the entire array over. So we'll just do this like that. Kind of have them covering each other because that's kind of important. There we are. Now then, um, I also want to have a little chest here to collect some of these materials. And I want to have this chest... Um, <laughs> made out of iron, of course. Wait, we need to make ourselves some... Oh, we don't have any steel. Okay, we need steel. Um, yeah, not quite. Like, it should be covered. And it is covered by turrets. It should be made out of this. This has 200 health versus a wooden chest that only has 100 health. In case the biters eat this, they'll eat it more slowly <laughs> than a wood chest. Okay, so there we go. So this is going to collect stuff for us as we're waiting. Uh, or not waiting, as we are building stuff and getting things to move onward. Oh boy, we did stuff. All right, this is great. So we have made the green circuit array. We're going to say done, completed. Now, should we make walls next? That would be very useful. Or we could make a belt array next, which is more appealing to me. But I think I think we're actually gonna have to make the walls. Let's make the walls next. Okay, let's do that. Let's, oops. I pressed escape, but that doesn't really work very well. Now walls are different, or I should say stone is different in that it takes two stone uh, per brick. So you need bricks, so two stone per brick. And then the walls need five stone bricks to complete themselves. So in this situation, we only need actually half of this array. So we're going to copy half of it. Let's see. We need to have 24, I think. Right, it's 48. Yeah. So 24 furnaces. And we're going to call that good. Really good. Boom. And I'm just going to put this right over here. And let the nanobots build. Just gonna go ahead and let that happen. Return this to its nice place there. And I'm out of belts. Wow. Okay, that's not ideal. That is not ideal. So let's get our belts. I'm glad I did put some iron in here. Of course, I've forgotten to get more. That's not great. But it's okay. We're, we're kind of at the beginning of automation. So it's a little bit more, I don't know, finagly for a while until you get everything that you need. But here we go. Masses of iron. All that we want. And I'm going to go and grab some green circuits from the box. And I can also... Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi, hello, iron. How you doing? <laughs> That's great. Wow, a whole inventory full of iron. Oh, that's so tasty. Okay. I, I, that, sorry, I got a little excited there about this. Um, I, I do get very excited about things like inserters and conveyor belts and stuff like that because they're just wonderful. All right. Let's put half the iron in here and maybe three quarters. That sounds better. And we can also... Do we need the gears? Yes, I think we need gears. So we'll put in half this for gears. And again, half and again. Well, the whole rest for ammo because I do not want to get caught off guard like I was in the last series like there were way too many biters it was scary uh so yeah we're going to do things a little bit differently hopefully more coherently in this series so what I want to do here is I want to change this a little bit I think we might still want this situation to occur but I'm not quite sure we could do it on this corner which could be okay, or this corner would be better maybe. Let's see if we can do this, like this. This is three, 4,000 and 12,000. I think that's more than enough. Yeah, we can actually move it up probably, like this. And that one there to leave the rest of it for the um, smelting array. So we'll put this here and that there. 
and this is going to make furnaces for us. Very nice. And then we can ensconce the rest here and make these part of our array. Okay, we need stuff. All right, we need more iron. We can work with this, that's fine. Getting mountains and mountains of iron plate. Perfect. Oh, I need to grab more green circuits, I see. Let's see, just take these all off because I do not want to be handcrafting that many green circuits. Um, and, haha, we can take these power poles, I'll put them here instead, clear this area with a middle mouse button, and then we can place our fast inserters there. Okay, boom, very nice. So I'm not sure which, I think all of them need to be blue inserters, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to grab the rest of those and call that amazing. So... On the regular smelting columns, you never actually need any uh, any blue inserters. Yellows will suffice, and they are quite a bit cheaper than blues. So if we look at yellows here, they cost four iron plates and 1.5 copper plates, and these are eight and four and a half. So more than twice the cost. So if you if you want to save um, and be a little bit efficient with stuff, you can uh, save money in that way. Well, quote unquote money. Uh, resources. You can save resources. They're a thing. Okay, I do need these belts. Uh, while those belts are being made in my inventory, go ahead and connect these things up. I do need more belts, actually. Let's see if the, uh, the maker has made stuff, the assembler. Check this. Hello. How many have you made for us? 168. More than we thought. That's great. The yay is real. Okay, we can take these off for now. But the unfortunate thing is, of course, we don't have much else from here. So I think we need to get rid of this, this, that, and these things. Okay, inserters. Thank you. But we don't really need that right now. No, no. And grab, of course, the ammo. I have thoughts. I think the biters are gonna, they're gonna eat us eventually. I mean, I'm gonna try not to let that happen, but I get kind of complacent around biters, I have to say. They're just kind of like, kind of boring. <laughs> I don't like them at all. <laughs> I find them a bit irritating, I have to admit. Uh, okay, so let's make some more mining drills. We now have circuits to make the mining drills, hooray. And then these, okay, we do have our belts put in and give these thingy-majingies the coal and the stone that we don't actually personally need. So let's take put this here. And the reason I'm not doing it close to here is in case we want to merge belts, it would be easier this way. There we go. Oh, and on these arrays, you see that the coal runs on the inside track. That's very much by design. So I don't have to do coal tracks on the outside, 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 and have the others coming in from outside. Because you can do a different arrangement of this belt thing. Oh, hi. Um, I'll just show you that. Which is like, I will just copy this because why not? So instead of having this thing, so these like will pretend, oh wow, that was not what I wanted to do. Okay, it's fine though, it's fine. So these are just mock-ups, here we go. You could do something like this. Um, have the other belt going in like this. Uh, so you'd have your coal in on one of these and then the ore on the other. But I like to have this track running through because it seems like a lot less hassle. And there's a lot less congestion on the outside as well. But that's just another option that you can kind of look at uh, when you're designing things. And I very much encourage everyone to design things the way they work for you. Um, just You don't need to copy anyone. You just do your own thing and make your own factory happy. That's the way I think it works best. 
Okay, we have bricks. Yay. So that's the thing. Um, we haven't actually hooked up the stuff here yet. So let's hook up the stone. Very nice. Let's see. Okay. Do we have any miners? We do. This is great. So again, this is going to need the same amount of miners per column. this we can actually just shove onto the end there and why is this oh we're missing a belt here there we go that's better um because this is all one-sided anyway it doesn't really matter um if we put a splitter in here it would go on the opposite side but we can have this one doing kind of something similar and just building into that other side there. Oh boy, this is not ideal. Okay, sure. Let's just spread them out a bit. So these guys can go like this and do that. So we have auxiliary lines feeding each side here. Now, the reason I didn't do this is because this makes all of this go on to one side of the belt and this half a line go onto the other. So that's not very good. We have to kind of offset this so that it doesn't make a total mess of things. I guess, I don't know how many, let's look, how many miners are there here? We need to minus one from this, 28. Hmm, that's not ideal. But we can add a couple more here. And I think our day is reasonably saved. It's, I don't know if it'll be balanced, though. I think it's not going to be balanced. The best thing would be to merge these two belts on the end and then merge it with a splitter with this one so that it's kind of more even. But I think this will work. I hope so. If anything, it will be a tiny misbalance and it's really not a big deal. So I think that that's a good place to stop for today. Um, we're going to need to build the walls next so that's going to be our next task but i think the factory is looking pretty darn good i'm quite happy with it so anyway thank you so very much for joining me take care of yourselves and each other and i'll see you next time